Hey, welcome back to the series of Business Studies Chapter 7 Directing. In this video, we are learning about barriers of communication. By the way, this is OBC online business class. If you still not subscribed, consider it. We also have a Facebook page. Go and check out. Links are given below. Barriers of communication. We usually seen that all managers face several problems as a result of communication failure or barriers from the communication. These type of barriers may stop a communication or it filter some part of a communication sometime or even it carry incorrect meaning due to this kind of cases it create misunderstanding therefore it is important for manager to identify such barriers and take corrective actions to solve such kind of problems barriers to communication can be broadly grouped as four type that is symmetric barriers psychological barriers organizational barriers and last one personal barriers we'll discuss all this in this video starting with symmetric barriers symmetric barriers is a branch of all languages symmetric barriers are usually worried with a problem such as barrier arise from wrong words or incorrect meaning like faulty translations or different interpretation etc now we are going to discuss some of the symmetric barriers starting with the first one badly expressed message sometimes proper meaning may not be sent by the manager to subordinates using wrong words or a sentence like skipping required words it may leads to poor language translation or even sometimes it create a confusion next barriers symbol with different meaning a word may have more than one meaning receiver should recognize such meaning for example let us look at this sentence where the word value is used what is the value of this ring here in this sentence the value of the ring is a cost in the second sentence I value our friendship here the value is invisible or it cannot be measured and in third sentence what is the value of learning computer skill in this sentence the term value is different we can notice that a value gives different meaning in these sentences like that wrongly recognition of words or meaning leads to a poor communication or communication problem next barrier faulty translation sometimes the communication originally drafted in one language for example English that need to be translated in understandable language to the worker for example Canada Hindi or whichever language may be if the translator is not expert in both the language it may cause different meaning sometime moving on to next symmetric barrier unclarified assumption sometime communication may have certain assumption which is matter to different understanding for example boss may instruct his subordinate to take care of his guest but actually boss may means that subordinate should take care of transport food and accommodation of guest until he leave his place but subordinate may think that a guest should be taken to the hotel with a care these are the common misunderstanding due to this guest will suffer so it happens many times moving on to next symmetric barrier technical jarong jarong means it's a technical word i'll explain you it's usually found in the specialist or used in a technical word Words. while learning new person may find difficult who is not specialist in concerned field or respected field therefore common people may not understand the actual meaning thus it create a communication barriers the next symmetric barrier body language and gesture decoding every movement of body communicates some meaning the body movements and gestures of communicator it matters so much it convinces the message if there is no match between what you're saying and your body expression or your body movement communication will be wrong moving on to next barrier that is psychological barrier emotional or psychological factor act as a barrier to communication for example a worried person cannot communicate properly and even angry person angry person cannot understand the real meaning message which is being communicating in this kind of situation communicate may not work properly as expected now we are going to discuss some of the psychological barriers starting with first premature evaluation sometimes people evaluate meaning of message before sending completes his message such early evaluation may lead to barriers to communication for example we know the story of mongoose and snake moving on to the second barrier lack of attention if receiver not listening a message properly or if he is an absent minded it may act as a psychological barrier for example an employee explain about his problem to his boss but he is thinking about an important file here boss did not grasp a problem of an employee thus employee disappointed and even a 
message did not convey properly. Third barrier, loss by transmission and poor retention. When communication pass through many levels such as transmission of message usually result in loss or poor information. Such transmission of message result in loss or poor information. Usually this is more in case of oral communication. Poor retention is an another problem usually people cannot retain the information for longer time. Fourth barrier, distrust or doubt. Doubt between a communicator and communicate act as a barrier if the parties do not believe in each other that they cannot understand its original sense. Moving on to next barrier, organizational barrier. The reason related to organization structure like authority, relationship, rules, regulation may be become a barrier to effective communication. We are now going to some of these barriers one by one. Starting with the first organizational barriers, organizational policy. If organizational policy directly or indirectly, it may abstract effective way of communication. For example, in an organization with highly centralized pattern, people may not be increased to have a free communication, thus create barriers. Second barrier, rules and regulation. Usually, rigid rules or heavy procedure may be difficult to communicate. Likewise, communication through prescribed channel may result in delay. Moving on to the third organizational barrier, status. Status of a superior may create a psychological barriers or a distance between superior and subordinate. Usually, a status concerned manager may not allow his subordinates to express their feeling freely. Moving on to the next organizational barrier, complexity in organization structure. In an organization, if there are number of managerial levels, communication get delayed and distorted because of number of filter points or more in that structure. Moving on to the next organization barrier that is organizational facilities. If facilities for a smooth and clear timely communication are not provided, communication may become poor. For example, facilities like frequent meetings, suggestion box, complaint box, social and cultural gathering, transparency in operation, etc. will always encourage free flow communication. If this kind of facility is absent, that may create communication problem. Moving on to personal barriers. Personal barriers also include personal factors of both senders and receivers. Like they may influence and they may affect on communication. Now we are going to discuss about some of the personal barriers of superior and subordinates. Starting with the first personal barrier, fear of challenge to authority. If superior feels a particular communication affects his authority or his position, he may stop or he may suppress such communication, thus result in communication barrier. Second personal barrier, lack of confidence of superior on his subordinates. If superior do not have a confidence on their subordinates, they may not take their advice or opinion. Moving on to the next personal barrier, unwillingness to communicate. Sometimes subordinates may not communicate with the superiors because if they observe that it may harm to their positions or their interests, they may willingly stop to communicate. Moving on to the next personal barrier, lack of proper incentives. Sometimes, if there is no motivation or incentive for communication, subordinate may not take initiative to communicate. For example, if there is no reward or appreciation for a good session, the subordinate may not give useful session for a company. Thus leads to a barrier for communication. These are the barriers to communication. If you like this video, hit like and share with your friends. Click here to watch the next series. Thank you for tuning in. See you in the next series. Bye.